So what's up, Packet people? I want to show you something that I do quite a bit with Wireshark, and that's quick filtering or drag and drop filtering. All right, so go ahead and open up Wireshark, grab any packets, and let me show you this trick. All right, so here I am in my PCAP, and something I do a lot just because I hate typing and I'm really awful at remembering those syntaxes for those filters. Come on, it's happened to you too. Is it IP dot whatever, whatever, or TCP dot, uh, uh, uh. Hard to remember, right? So if we just come down here into any in our packet list, if you just want to set a filter for an IP, for example, maybe everything coming and going from this 53.235 address, all I got to do is I just take that and I just drag it and drop it upstairs. Now, keep in mind, that address was physically in the destination column when I grabbed it, all right? So when I pop it upstairs, it's gonna be ip.dst equals equals, and then it's gonna have that address there for me. So if I want it to be both directions, that's where I've gotta come back here and just say IP adder, good. Now I'm gonna get both directions of that conversation. Okay, so that's something I do quite a bit. Also, if I just want, let's just say the syn activity, I just wanted to see the sins and synax going to and from this server. Well, what I can do is I can leave that IP address up there in the address bar, and then I can grab a SYN, come down, take a look at the TCP header, go ahead and expand that out, go down to flags, and I can come down and I want every packet with a SYN bit set. So this is where I can grab this, drag it up, drop it, and now it's gonna ask me, hey Chris, what do you wanna do? Do you want to replace the filter that you have with the selected one? Do you wanna say not this selected? So show me everything except for SYNs. Do you want to and this? So leave the display filter that you have alone and add the one that you would like to drag and drop up there. That's what I wanna do. Now I could also say or selected, so anything to and from that IP or any packet that has the SYN bit set and not selected. So leave that IP and no SYNs. So that gives me some options there. So I'm gonna select in this case and select it and see what happens. So I want everything to and from that IP address and everything with a SYN bit set. So quickly with these drag and drop filters, it makes it a lot easier. I don't have to sit and type out all of the things that you see there in the display bar. I can just get to my analysis. So I hope you like that quick tip for Wireshark filtering. So go ahead and comment below if you like this kind of content. I'll see you guys again.